Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Marilyn and today is the 22nd day of Vlogmas. Just a few more days for Christmas. My plans for today were to stay home, wrap some of the gifts that we have under the tree that are just boxes, <laughs> and make a list of the things I need to pick up at the grocery store and just, you know, sit around in my PJs or my sweatpants but pretty much do very little. Stay home, maybe a little relaxing, stitching, you know, that kind of stuff, at home stuff. Well, my husband said the most wonderful words. Do you wanna go to the antique shop? Well, what did you think I was gonna say? No. I got ready and we went antiquing. As you can see from the smile on my face, wow, <laughs> I'm excited. All right. Let me show you what I found. I found this really cool piece. I thought I can finish it, not sure how I'm gonna finish it, and I can display it. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna maybe put some binding on it and use it to lay in one of my display cabinets. I found this sweet little, it looks like a folk art type of chest, but it's, it's metal. It's a little metal chest. And I thought it would look really cute with my dolls in one of my doll houses or room boxes. Another cute find. I love looking for antique or vintage lace, and I thought this would be really cute to use for some of my dolls, my Gail Wilson kits or dolls. I thought that would look really nice, and it would work well with them. Since they're already antique, the lace is antique, and I don't have to antique it. That's perfect. <laughs> In that same booth, I found a jar with buttons. And what drew me to the jar, or to the buttons, was really the jar. So I have, I, I have jars that I fill with little things that I collect. I have a jar that has a green lid like this, and I thought this would be perfect. Well, a closer inspection, I was enamored with the buttons. Look at all of these beautiful buttons. There's some really cool ones in here, and there's some little itty bitty ones, like that little tiny one. And I thought, oh my word, I can make so many things, and then some, <laughs> with this giant jar of buttons. And the best part is I can display it, it's all ready for display, and it matches. See? It matches my Martha Washington cabinet. <laughs> it's green. And as I was walking out, there was a little section that I almost missed. Well, thank goodness that I did not miss that section. There was one booth that every which way I turned, I wanted everything in that booth. So let me show you the amazing treasures I found there. The first thing I saw, and I, I need to wipe this because it, it has the sticker residue. This is the very first thing I saw in that booth. And I was, this was going to be mine. I had to take this. <laughs> and I grabbed it and yes, isn't that adorable? It's perfect. I love it. Then... I looked down and there was a little bowl and it had some little sheep. These look like they're little ornaments. How adorable. And then right next to these was another bowl with these. And I was tickled pink. I was so excited. I love these little sheep. How cute. They're just perfect. 
So I'm, I'm debating whether I should just clip the little loop or the little, you know, the, the string and just display them or keep the little string and use them as ornaments. I think for now I'll use them as ornaments. They have that little folk art kind of antique feel to them, especially since I found these really cool birds. Let's see. So these are little wooden birds and they would clip to the branch. How cool. The coolest thing about these is that they don't necessarily look like Christmas ornaments. You can, you can decorate your Christmas tree with them, but I can have them out all year long. I think I might do that. And so let's see. And again, there are quite a few. There's two of each, two teal and two of the red ones and the yellows. So I'm gonna have fun decorating one of my trees and I'm thinking this wire tree behind me, I'm thinking of leaving that tree out all year long and just putting some of these little folk art pieces and letting them hang from there. That would be so cute. This is a little reproduction sampler and I thought it was so cute, but I wasn't sure, should I get it? Should I not get it? Anyway, as you can see, I went back and I, I, I just had to bring it home with me. It has a little scratch here on the frame, but I am gonna, I'm just gonna take a wax and just clean it. I have a, a cleaning solution and it'll fill in all the little scratches. And it just makes it, you know, it darkens it a little. So it gives it a little patina. But I am super thrilled with this one. I also found this little cabinet here. I saw, or my husband spotted this one when we walked in. It was in a display case right in the front. Here it is. And this is a Roy Bubba Moyer. He's a friend. And... I used to follow him. I used to go to all the different um, craftsman shows or like folk art type and craft fairs and I would buy his furniture. Well, they had this piece there and see, and I couldn't say no. So I'm really happy to have Another little piece. I always get excited when I see something that someone I know made that piece and I get really excited and I usually have to bring it home with me. And I do that for any pieces that I usually check underneath or in the side and I've noticed that they were made by hand and it was an artist that did that. I always have to bring them home. I feel like I'm saving the little treasures. I went back. And I found some adorable ornaments. How cute. Look at these super cute ornaments I found. Isn't that adorable? And then I have another little angel, see? So I found four little angels. Here are two. Aren't they beautiful? And I found these two little pine cones. Well, oh, this is the way they hang. But and I want to say this is machine embroidery. They're beautiful really stuffed. I'm not sure what they're stuffed with, but I'm so glad I spotted. I'm really excited with the treasures I found today. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this short video. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I will wait until tomorrow to hang these up.